Villa looking to do the league double over Bournemouth after Rudy Justad's second half header earned a 1 0 away victory on the season's opening day. Saturday's opponents are all but safe already, though, while the home side are hoping to stave off the dreaded drop for another week at least. To do that, they must match or better Norwich's result at Crystal Palace. Both teams come into this one on the back of 4 0 home defeats. It's also the club's annual Acorns Day as money is raised for the local hospice in and around the game. Froggy, welcome back to the studio. In terms of the action on the pitch then, what are the key areas in this one? Well, the players I've picked out today, particularly for Bournemouth, are the two wide men. Wide men, are, it's a key feature this year. Wingers are a dying breed, but at Leicester City, they've brought them back and look how successful they've been. Bournemouth, great year they've had in their first year in the, in the Premier League and they've, they've played with wide men. Um, and interestingly, we've got one of our suspended, our fullbacks. And we have been weak in the, for me, we've been weak in the full-back areas for some time. So that will be the key battle in, case, in, you know, in terms of how the game will be won and lost. Unlike you to pick out a wide man. But, uh, well, that, that's... That, it's difficult, Jack, because actually there aren't that many wide men left in the <laughs> Premier League, no. are there? They are a, they're still a dying breed because of the formations teams tend to play now. You don't see natural wide men. So Bournemouth are one of those teams that do, do play with wingers. And you'd like to see one or two of the uh, under-21s given a chance for Villa? Perhaps Adama, Grealish maybe? I think, well, let's go to Leiden and, and, mm. and Green. I, I, think, yeah. I think now's the time to take the lid off. We know we're relegated. It's just a matter of when. Um, and I would like to see some of the young kids blooded. Because you never know whether they're good enough or not, Jack, until you give them a go. Mm. OK, you might put them in and it doesn't work. But what, at this stage now, what really has, has our football club got to lose? And from the reaction Andre Green got from the supporters yeah. was hugely positive. I think the fans would get right behind uh, a team of kids right now, between now and the end of the season. I think they'll be really positive, even though they'll accept they might lose every game. But it's the, the experience you'll give those boys will be invaluable for the, for the, with the players that the management think will get us out of the championship hopefully next term and start blending them together and get them working now. And it's Acorns Day as we raise money for the hospice. That's been a fantastic relationship, hasn't it, over the years? Oh, actually, I mean, I remember even back in 1992, we had a, a terrific relationship with, with, with Acorns and we, we did a lot of time and work, obviously, under Graham Taylor and, and Big Ron going to the, the hospices. And, you know, when you, it's not until you go there, they're very humbling. You realise, like, how special the people are that work there and how difficult it is for the families to, to cope and deal with. So it's an amazing charity. Uh, and dig deep because you know it, 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 everyone, a lot of people are affected by this, and it's a it's a really worthwhile uh, charity. Yeah, here, here. Please give generously. Much more analysis over on ABTV HD. Tony Morley back alongside me for live commentary on Saturday afternoon. Make sure you join us.